Hello, my name is Rudy, and welcome to Let's Play Stellaris. We are the Citizen Council on the Galactic Unity, and the final war has begun. We are at war with the Hara Mediators, and this time there's going to be no guerrilla warfare shenanigans. There's going to be no trickery. We're going to take on their fleet head-on in a battle in space, and this victor will decide which civilization will dominate this galaxy. If we can defeat their fleet, then we can continually destroy and take their planets war after war without giving them a chance to rebuild. If they take out our fleet, well, I'm not sure if we'll ever really be able to recover from that, especially if they start taking our planets. We'll see. A massive defeat here could be demoralizing to our people, and hopefully it will not come to that. So we, uh, where is the main enemy fleet? I don't see him on my scopes quite yet, but we need to finish organizing our fleet at Gatria. The main, the main fleet yard. So what are we going to do here? We need to take... So we have the 16th fleet headed up by Devon Harrison, loaded up with battleships and destroyers. Let's group them up with Kingsley, which is our baby Ether Drake, along with a bunch of more battleships and other such things. So then we'll have two big fleets. We'll have a close range, pound them in the nose fleet, the 10th fleet headed by Cappy Jack and the 16th fleet headed by Devin Harrison for long-range fire support. So hopefully we can pin the main enemy fleet in place and then send in the 16th fleet as well. That'll be good. So we're just going to wait for the enemy to come to us. We're still building some more ships. Oh, is that the enemy right there? There they are, the second Dissimmunual. They have 750k. We just finished another round of destroyers all across the Empire. They're going... They're going for... Besqua. What are they all about? One of our many, many... Yes, we got our one android, one synthetic, keeping all of these nerve-stapled beasts in line to provide minerals. Okay, maybe we could strike them now, but I'm kind of waiting for all those battleships to group up with my main fleet. So we should wait for that to occur, and I guess while that's going... Hey, that's weird. Why? Mining station lost. You would think the mediators would attack their cap, their former capital planet, and retake that. That's weird. I guess they don't want to risk any collateral damage. Our, our war goals, by the way, are to cleanse a bunch of their planets, in particular these systems here, here, and here, and that one there, and also some along the border. That'll be good. Especially these ones here, because then our borders will expand and take all this over. And there's where the Dragon's Horde is. Okay, so also being that we're at war, you know what, let's go to the Rigan Commerce Exchange and get some... I would like to trade for minerals. Let's get some minerals. Thousands of minerals. You know, maybe we shouldn't do that. Like, I, I need to make sure we have an energy reserve to make sure the fleet is well supplied when we're in space. So maybe I trade away just a bit too much energy. But that's, that's all right, actually. We can get energy from our sectors. Let's do that. Let's get some... Oh, yeah, where's the sector? With a lot of energy. Well, we'll wait for the fleet to put the space first. So we just finished building all those battleships. Have they grouped up with the 16th fleet? I assume they must have. Also, let's make the 6th... Let's have the 16th fleet take point. So maybe some allied fleets can get, get on me. Uh, we can still fit some more fleet power. I'm going to make the 10th fleet... Or what should our rally point be? Let's make a new rally point here. <clears throat> Let's make a new rally point in Azemore. And then we'll have all of our new ships assemble there. Because maybe we'll need them for fighting. Maybe we won't. There'll be some reinforcements. So we could definitely queue up. Let's get a bunch more cruisers up in there. Make like three brawler class cruisers at every planet. 
Okay, that'll be good. So hopefully we'll have some reinforcements we can bring into the fight later on too, because this is going to be a big fight. It's going to take a long time. Let's deploy the fleet. Where are we at? We will require tactics and strategy in order to win today. Oh, what are all these random ships? We got some random ships that are not grouped up. Let's group all those guys up. Oh my god, so many low frames per second. Where is Kingsley? Kingsley, the Ether Drake. Oh, there you are, at the very edge. A dragon spawn. Class. Come on, guys, hurry up. I don't feel like waiting for you. Okay, let's time to put out the space. So let's send both fleets. Where's the enemy is hanging around over here? Let's get both fleets. Let's get over here. How long is it going to take him to make that flight? They need to fly to the edge of the system and then jump. So we got one, two, three, four, five jumps ahead of us. That's like a 20 days per jump. It's going to take 100 days of jumping to make it to the enemy combat. We're at minus 144 energy. I should not have traded away so much energy, but we can get some from sectors when, when and if we need it. So I think the plan, this is what the plan is going to be. We're going to send in the 10th fleet to engage the enemy from one vector. Like we'll send the, like we'll send the 10th fleet into the system from this direction. They'll pop out here and start fighting the enemy. And then we'll send the 16th fleet in, say, from, from Teterra or Derez down here and then they'll appear somewhere on this side and then they'll engage the enemy with long range guns and since all the battleships will be in the 16th fleet hopefully like the 10th fleet will act as a distraction with all the smaller ships and won't take as many losses as the 16th fleet would if it were taking the full brunt of the main enemy fleet it'll be a simple plan they're trying to bomb my planet into oblivion and, of course, if they move to different systems, we might need to alter our plan a bit. Ooh, they're, at, they're almost there. Okay. The time of reckoning is upon us. We're all waiting tensely over the many, many months as the war unfolds. Each day, who, kn who knows what's going to happen next year. Or next month. We have all kinds of ships grouping up at Azemore. Okay. 15 more days to jump. It's been a peaceful 100 days so far, but everything's going to change once those guns begin firing. Oh, I can build some stuff there, too. Construction complete. I believe I'm building, like, a million habitats somewhere. All my civilian ships, yeah, they're all constructing habitats in this, like, system. Okay, my fleets have arrived. Okay, so yeah, I guess we're going to do that plan that I talked about. Let's send the... Oh, the 16th fleet isn't here yet? No, you are not. Let's send the 16th fleet directly to Teterra. Or maybe I could send them to Deris. I'm not sure which would be the best choice. Yeah, I think this will work. We'll, we'll have them surrounded. Okay, I think we are ready. Let's send in the 10th fleet. All 350k power. 326. And then I guess we'll also send in the 16th fleet now. Okay, here we go. There's no, no stopping the plan. Well, I mean, we could stop the plan. We are an agile people. Construction. Construction. 10th fleet should, the 10th fleet has arrived. Engage the enemy. Oh, wow. Space time is crawling to a halt. Okay, we're gonna... S we're gonna let the 10th fleet get engaged first before we send in the 10th fleet. The 16th fleet, I mean, we're gonna let... we're gonna let the 10th fleet get in there. Then we'll send in the 16th fleet. fleet engaged. Okay. They've been engaged, let's go after them. This is going to unfold at a glacial pace. 
We're going to rescue the nerve stapled. Okay, don't. I hope. I don't want them to go after the 16th fleet. Here, how about you guys hang back a bit? What are they doing? It's so hard to tell. I might have to skip. I might have to speed up through a lot of this because it's so glacially slow. Oh, they're launching fighters. Yeah, they're definitely moving to attack. Oh man, that is quite a sight. The million fighters. Yeah, they're going after the... the 10th fleet. Send in Devin Harrison and the 16th fleet to engage them at range. Hopefully they'll... We'll see how this works out. So, I mean... It's 326k versus 750k, but I feel like the 10th fleet has a bit of a size advantage being so small. Like, they're, the enemy weapons are designed to blow up big ships, but we have a lot of cruisers and, and corvettes. We're launching our fighters. Yeah, that big blue beam. It, like, it shot, but it didn't destroy what it, anything. Probably because its tracking is so low that it really missed. Yeah, we have not... Oh, there's a dead ship. Split in half. Those poor bastards. And we got all these fighters coming down between us. You're not going to see anything like this back at home. Oh, there's the first Corvette. Oh. So I wonder, I wonder how the fighters are going to do, do, do such a titanic firepower. And of course, as the casualties commence, things can only get better. Like regarding, uh, you know... Oh! Look at that dogfight. Oh my god. I'm gonna slow this down a bit. Now that is exciting. I think we're a bit outnumbered as far as fighters are concerned. But at least we have some, right? Oh, thank you, Robot Man. And the 16th Fleet is still closing in. Hmm. Oh, we're, we're engaging. The, we're finally firing our mid-range plasma guns. Okay, we finally closed range enough. I probably should have tried to jump into the system so I was a little bit closer. But I guess you live and you learn. Or maybe we're not going to live. But our cruisers are at close range now. So are the corvettes. There's still a million... Well, there's like 200 corvettes over here still. Okay. Uh, oh, and there's enemy transport ships there too. Maybe we'll get those blown up. But I'm getting a bit ahead of myself. We need to actually defeat the main fleet first. We have 21k of ships at Azemore. Maybe we could send those in as well. So we're going to have some reinforcements we can send in. In fact, while this is going on, I'm going to queue up some more ships to build. Do do do. Just enjoy the enjoy the beautiful space battle while I do my stuff. Brawler class cruisers. Oh look, they're already down to 690k. Good, good stuff. 681k, we're at 236k. So we are losing many, many forces. We're out of minerals. Oh, they're at 666k. We've closed a crazy close range. Yeah, we've taken out a few... Things seem to be going bad now. And this fleet isn't even in range yet. That, that's the issue. The fact that our long-range fleet isn't in range yet. But 
how are things going? We're still at, what we're like, oh, we're down to 162k. We've closed range, though, with all of our close range guns. Oh my god. I think we need to retreat. I don't want to retreat, though. We're in prime position. Yeah, I'm going to retreat. Okay, but they have another massive fleet to contend with. We are going to reinforce the 10th fleet and send them back in. Is what we're going to do. They're currently missing in action. They will be back on 20 They will be back on the 1st of next month. And we're going to group them up with the forces at Azemore. We have 27k cruisers. Okay, yeah, we're firing our long-range ballistic weapons. Okay, let's see. The 10th Fleet is there. Let's get the forces from Azemore in there as well. We got 43 more cruisers we can bring in. We're going to make the 10th Fleet the rally point. How's this going to go down? We're still building more ships, you know what I mean? You know, okay, I'm just going to pause this for a second, because we lost... How much did we lose? We lost, like, 100k worth of ships, 200k worth of ships. And the enemy... Yeah, yeah the enemy lost way less, I, I think. Yeah. I don't think we really... Nothing good came of that engagement. Okay, are you guys going to jump? Hurry up and jump already. It's going to take 10 days? That is outrageous. And these guys are repairing. Okay, group up, please. Okay, they are grouping up. Let's get back to the battle. Oh, that's the, uh, our, our Aether Drake. Yeah, retreat. Yikes. Crazy. There's still 480k of enemy fleet power left. But wait a second. We have almost 300k worth of fleet power. I think we can do this. Well, technically they have 480k of fleet power. We just need to build up a bunch more ships. Those guys can repair. We've completed some habitats. Okay, I think we should go back in there. And this time I'm gonna keep both the fleets together, I think. I think that'd be wise. Another habitat completed. Let's keep on building more ships. All across the Empire constant supply of ships into the fight. Engage the enemy. We'll send it. Yeah, send Cappy Jack in first, followed by Devin Harrison. With the long range fire support. Okay, this should be good. I'm going to take this fleet off of... I'm going to take away the fact that they're a rally point, because I don't want new ships jumping into here and potentially being destroyed. Oh, but apparently I can't delete the rally point because the fleet is stuck in fight. That's kind of annoying. Oh, well, I guess we'll have a bunch of random ships jumping in. And of course, we also have our 33% bonus damage because we are galactic contenders. Ah, 
Ah, yes, the Ether Drake providing its space fire. Okay, they're down to 60k. We're going to need to retreat any second now. Okay, retreat, Cappy Jack. There's nothing more you can do here. So we got the enemy down to 250k. 220k. And we are firing with full effect with all of our weapons. Oh man, we took out their titans, I think. Their titans are dead. Oh, come on, it's so close. Fleet destroyed. Oh, that was one of my random ships that got blown up. Okay, what is happening here? Uh, we got to retreat. Okay, but we got the enemy down to 128k. <clears throat> I think we should have him defeated pretty soon. Because we are constructing more ships all across the entire empire. We just got to wait for them to rally up. I think we can do this. We just have a, a, a paltry 128k fleet we need to blow up. I don't know that the enemy is building ships to replace their losses. I haven't seen any new ships. What if I like looked somewhere and there's like another 800k fleet? I don't see anything else though. Well, anyway, I think that is all I'm going to be able to fit in for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments. I'll see you next time for more Stellaris while we will hopefully take out this enemy fleet in the second and hopefully final battle of the war. We lost the first one, but we are not done yet.